In this video, we explain how to correctly perform Preventis Smart Test Vitamin D. Preventis Smart Test Vitamin D consists of a rapid test and a smartphone app that determines the 25 OH vitamin D level from finger stick blood. The measurement range is between 5 and 100 nanograms per milliliter. Each pack contains accessories for exactly one test. Firstly, check our website www.preventis.com. In the product description, whether our app is supported by your smartphone. This is necessary because we test and approve each smartphone model individually. This is the only way we can ensure reliable test results. If your smartphone is supported, download the Smart Test Vitamin D app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Attention, there are two apps, one for professional users only and one for non-professionals. Please download Smart Test Vitamin D only. The app does not collect any personal data. Your vitamin D values are stored exclusively on your smartphone. Carefully read the enclosed test instructions before launching the app and starting to test. Now start the app. First perform the camera test. It is important to perform the camera test at the same location where you will later evaluate the quick test. This is the only way to have the correct lightning conditions in the test. Currently, there are two different versions of the camera test card. Both are labeled card and work identically. There is only one camera test card in each package. As an example, we use this variant. Place the camera test card on a flat, light-colored surface so that the yellow bar is facing up. To start the camera test, the app automatically activates your smartphone's flash. The camera test consists of two steps. In step one, align the template on your display with the image of test cartridge one on the camera test card. Make sure to hold your smartphone parallel to the camera test card. In step two, repeat this process with the image of test cassette two. If the camera test fails repeatedly, make sure the lightning is even. Check the camera lens for scratches and dirt. Remove them if possible. Also, check the camera test card for damage. After a successful camera test, set your individual four-digit PIN. This will be requested each time you open the app. Select Prepare Test in the main menu. We will support you with a video tutorial on how to perform the test. This should take approximately 20 minutes of your time. Prepare the test components ready and leave the test cassette still in its packaging. Make sure not to touch the tip of the capillary. The lateral areas of the fingertip of the middle or ring finger are particularly suitable for blood collection. Rub the selected finger until it's warm and well supplied with blood. Disinfect the area with a cleaning cloth and then allow the cleaning liquid to dry completely. Pull out the safety cap of the lancet with a half turn. Be careful not to accidentally release the disposable lancet. Hold the lancet firmly against the cleaned fingertip while pressing the yellow button. This will cause the short needle of the lancet to pop out for a split second and puncture the finger. Then massage the finger in the direction of the puncture until a large drop of blood has formed. If the lancet does not work or accidentally triggers, please do not continue the test. Hold the capillary horizontally against the drop of blood, which will be drawn in by itself. If air bubbles form in the capillary, please do not continue the test. The procedure must be repeated with a new capillary. A correct test evaluation can only be guaranteed with a completely filled capillary. Set the capillary aside as shown here and apply a band-aid to the punctured area. Place the buffer tube on a stable surface. Please note that only a small, but sufficient for the test, amount of buffer is contained in the tube. 
Hold the tube firmly while piercing the capillary through the aluminum foil. Press the two firmly together until the edges are even with each other. Shake the combination structure vigorously until the blood and buffer solution are completely mixed. Make sure that the solution subsequently collects at the bottom of the buffer tube by swirling. No liquid should escape during the entire process. Now, remove the test cassette from its packaging and place it on a flat, dry surface. Remove the safety cap of the capillary and hold it approximately 1 cm above the sample application window S. Allow four hanging drops to fall onto the sample application window S of the test cassette. This is the only way to ensure the correct buffer volume. Then start the 15 minute timer. Do not move the test cassette during this time. First check visually whether a control band forms in the result window in area C during that time. If no control band is visible after 15 minutes have lapsed, the test is invalid. In this case, the test must be repeated. After the timer has expired, a signal will sound. You then have two minutes to evaluate the test. During this time, avoid shadows, strong light from the side and direct sunlight on the test cassette. If the two minutes are exceeded, the result will be invalid. The measurement must be repeated with a new test. Select Scan Test in the app for evaluation. Again, the app automatically activates the flashlight of your smartphone. A template appears on your display. Align this with a test cassette in front of you. Make sure to hold your smartphone parallel to the test cassette. Remain in this position until the result appears on your display. This is displayed in the app in nanograms per milliliter. If an error message appears, note down the details and take a photo of the cassette. Preventis Smart Test Vitamin D offers the ability to keep track of your vitamin D level. This allows you to adjust your time in the sun or supplementation, if necessary, after consulting with healthcare professionals.